Hello everyone, uh, this is Tracy, I'm the community manager from OneBlock and after the week of our uh, Polkadot uh, hacks on Bangkok station we warmly welcome the team, the Interfanals, to give a brief introduction of their projects and today uh, we have Shida here uh, from the Ninja team uh, Shida, could you be able to uh, introduce okay. yourself and the project? Um, sure, okay. So, hello, I'm Sheetal. Uh, I'm a Substrate developer. I'm a PPA Singapore graduate and um, I'm currently working at, with True Network as a Substrate developer. I'm contributing to their palette design. So, yeah. And yeah, uh, the project that I built for this hackathon was Neja, which is a, uh, I was part of the tooling track, wherein this is a utility palette, which uh, any Polkadot chain can uh, enable it to enable uh, stateless cloud functions uh, on their chain. So cloud functions are, uh, stateless cloud functions is just uh, a web assembly script. Like uh, the app developers can write any logic which comp uh, in any language that they prefer and that compiles into a version. And uh, because they are stateless, so the chains don't have to uh, have the overhead of enabling smart contracts. This is like a lightweight alternative to smart contracts. So it can uh, like ramp up the pace in which uh, you can develop an app and test, uh, take your product to the market. So that was the idea. Then uh, why do you choose the Polkadot ecosystem? Um, uh, so the reasons uh, for uh, choosing Polkadot was like the tech is amazing. Uh, I I am also a nerd. I love um, all the uh, new developments that have been going on, how dynamic we are with and everything is always uh, something new is always happening. We are not stopping. We have not decided at one thing, okay, this is good enough. And now we are moving on to something else. We are constantly iterating and reiterating. Now also one thing that I love the most about Workaround is how open and transparent we are with the governance. That is the best part about it, how the community can actively contribute to every decision that is made on Workaround on any uh, parachain. And so I like the most that Workaround, yeah. Then, uh, like you have probably mentioned some like features. Can you like give more in details? Like what's breakdown? Like what's the specific key features that you think can attract users of your project? Um, yeah, sure. Uh, so actually, like uh, because I was uh, when I was just starting out uh, in the Polkadot ecosystem, I learned like the first idea that I had because my background is in data science. Was my first idea was to create an analytics platform for Polkadot for DApps because um, like in Ethereum we see that a lot of uh, DApps use a lot of different protocols because we have that component design wherein uh, each protocol is doing one specific function for your DApp. So here I saw that like uh, even though Polkadot uh, has like even better technology for doing that you have different chains that do that for you but uh, we don't see a lot of dApps that are using that you would just see like someone just writing an yet another contract we are not actually utilizing the real functionality that substrate provides as a framework which is this palette design you can design these structures the dApps can leverage it but you would just see like some a dApp created by the uh, the chain and then other dApps that are just a subset of those features the palette uh, the chain is providing like out of the box so i didn't find a lot of innovation there so the reason that i found was that uh, you know you have to learn rust you have to understand you have to write uh, uh, you have to learn ink and uh, like there is a lot of the learning curve is exponential before you can even start uh, writing logic your business logic or your innovation with your dApp idea so the whole idea was that how can we make it uh, faster? So we have this concept of cloud functions in Web2, wherein a lot of functions of these uh, functionalities of these dApps do not require us to store uh, state. And a lot of data do, sh should not be stored uh, on chain. So, but when you're writing a contract, you have to design the storage, you have to maintain the state. But with cloud functions, we can uh, like just use the chain storage and the dApps can directly the dApps can di directly start innovating and designing uh, and have this programmability of designing their business logic directly get into that and so the uh, because it, my idea was that so i the other part that i focused was was creating this uh, next js uh, cli tool wherein you can directly just enable it so you can uh, from this uh, Tool that you can directly just in within your DApps development environment, you have to just write it. You can uh, you don't even need to think about writing a contract or even interacting with that. Within your uh, development environment, you can directly write your business logic and use leverage the chain's functionality. Yeah. Then, uh, do you have any like future plans or milestones or any technical or marketing plans in general? 
um my plans with the development uh, is i like currently i'm working on like enabling this pallet uh, with the true true network chain so that we can uh, enable as fast as we can uh, get people who are building on true network uh, use cloud function so we can get that feedback and also like with uh, polkadot cloud and polkadot vm coming so i want to use that uh, like i have to implement it for that so rest five implementation currently it's for just wasm so yeah mm. that is the idea then uh, at the end, like, do you have anything to say or suggestions to developers that are probably going to uh, join our next hackathon? Or in general, how do you feel about the hackathon? I felt great. I learned a lot. I met a lot of people who are building cool stuff. I felt inspired to build more. And uh, yeah, and I think uh, I like a few few of the ideas, so I'm I'm gonna like try to stay in touch and uh, see it, like some ideas that I want to contribute in. So I'm gonna get in touch with them and uh, see if we can uh, do something there. But um, yeah, overall, I would just uh, say that uh, my advice or like my recommendation would be you can you should get your product or your idea to the market as soon as possible. You should leave leave the local host and uh, just get your product rolling so you can get feedback and make it as many iterations as possible in a way don't fear regulations keep, keep innovating keep uh, <laughs> yeah yeah that, that's good then uh, we're looking forward to seeing you have more like collaborations more uh, progress and probably uh, seeing you next year or for the next for the hackathon thank you sure sure thank you thank you, thank you Sita. bye